In this video, we will be discussing about the muscular dystrophy. The muscular dystrophy includes the heterogeneous group of inherited disorders or diseases, which are characterized by progressive degenerative muscle weakness, loss of muscle tissue, which ultimately affects the muscle strength and action. This muscular dystrophy primarily involves skeletal muscle and then few other organs may also get affected. First of all, let's see the causes of muscular dystrophy disorders. This muscular dystrophy is all due to the inheritance of affected genes that leads to mutations of different genes or dysregulation of genes like dystrophin gene, DUX4 gene, EMD gene, LMNA gene and many other genes. We see the inheritance of these affected genes follow the pattern of sex-linked inheritance, autosomal recessive inheritance or autosomal dominant inheritance. In sex-linked inheritance, we have Duchenne muscular dystrophy, Becker's muscular dystrophy and Emery Dreyfus muscular dystrophy. Then in autosomal recessive, we have limb girdle muscular dystrophy when we talk about the 15q chromosome. Then we have another autosomal recessive disorder that's congenital muscular dystrophy. And uh, in autosomal dominant disorders, we have FSHMD that's fascio humeral muscular dystrophy. Second one is limb girdle muscular dystrophy, but this gene is present on 5q chromosome. And third dominant disorder is oculopharyngeal muscular dystrophy. Now let's discuss the important types of muscular dystrophy. First one is the Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Second one is the Becker's muscular dystrophy. Third one is the Emery Dreyfus muscular dystrophy. Fourth one is the limb girdle muscular dystrophy. And fifth one is the fascio humeral muscular dystrophy. Now let's discuss these muscular dystrophies one by one. First of all, in case of Duchenne muscular dystrophy, we have the mutation in dystrophin gene, that's in DMD gene, which is located at the XP21.2. This is X-linked recessive disorder, where dystrophin protein is totally absent or it's in truncated form. In this disorder, there is muscle loss by 4 years, and mostly scoliosis is observed, where there is sideways curvature of the spine. Now to see what muscles are affected in Duchenne muscular dystrophy, we have this diagram. First of all, the muscles of hips, pelvic area, thighs, calves are affected followed by shoulders, neck, arms, respiratory muscles and other areas as shown in the diagram. Now moving forward towards the mutation. We know this is X-linked mutation and this mutation is found in the P arm of chromosome at 21.2 position. And one thing to remember here is that this dystrophin gene has got 79 exons. And when we see here that among these 79 exons, there is deletion of exons from 45 to 55 exons that leads to out of prime dystrophin transcript, which gives rise to truncated dystrophin protein or even protein is absent sometimes. That eventually leads to DMD, that's Duchenne muscular dystrophy. In the present time, there have been experiments on Duchenne muscular dystrophy with CRISPR technology by using exon reframing, exon skipping or even exon deleting. Then we have Becker's muscular dystrophy, that's milder form of DMD. In this muscular dystrophy, same set of muscles are affected as in case of Duchenne muscular dystrophy, but to a lower extent. And there is deletion of 44 to 54 exons among 79 exons. And in that case, we get the misshapen or altered protein because this is the in-frame mutation which leads to transcription of dystrophin protein that's partially functional. Then we have the third one that's Emery Dreyfus muscular dystrophy which is due to the mutation of EMD gene that makes emerin protein. This one is X-linked recessive disorder whose gene is present on X chromosome at Q28 position. But there are other genes also that contributes to EMD that are LMNA gene which makes lemon A or lemon C protein. Second one is SYNE gene that makes nesprin protein. And it must be noted here that this emerin protein is expressed in cardiac and skeletal muscle. So both organ muscles will be affected by this disorder. So here in this diagram we can see the muscles which are affected by the EMD disorder which includes cardiac muscles also. Now moving forward, we have the third muscular dystrophy, which is limb girdle muscular dystrophy, which has both recessive and dominant pattern. The gene affected in this disorder is TTID gene at 5Q31 position, which shows autosomal dominant inheritance. 
then we have the cap and 3 jean at 15q 15.1 position which shows autosomal recessive inheritance and in this disorder the calpan 3 protein is affected that's why it's also termed as calpanopathy then there is third gene mutation which leads to limb girdle muscular dystrophy which is sgca gene at 13q12 position that makes gamma sarcoglycan protein and if we see what muscles are affected in this disorder, here is a diagram highlighting hip and shoulder muscles which are affected in this disorder. Now moving towards the fifth important dystrophy which is fascio-scapulohumeral muscular dystrophy which is due to mutation of several genes like ANT, FRG12, DUX4C but the mutation of DUX4C is most common and here in this diagram the affected muscles have been highlighted which includes the muscles of face, those that position the scapula and those overlying the humerus bone of the upper arm. Moreover, if we see the genetic mechanism of DUX4C gene, this disorder is all due to dysregulation of DUX4 gene. We see this DUX4C gene is mostly expressed during the initial stages of embryonic development, but then in later stages it remains repressed in all developmental stages except in testes. But in this disorder, this dysregulation at 4q35 chromosome position due to epigenetic changes turn the gene on. Remember, the repressed or inactive form of gene is normal. But the dysregulation turns the gene on which is abnormal. And this leads to somatic expression of DUX4C gene that in turn leads to DNA contraction in the form of D4Z4 contraction. This contraction deletes the D4Z4 repeat arrays which is lethal for the cell because this D4Z4 repeat array acts as a transcriptional silencer within the cell and when these repeat arrays are deleted the cell death is inevitable and even the DUX4C gene product is toxic for cells that leads to FSHD disorder. So these are the major muscular dystrophies explained in brief manner. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.